Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast where we are going to be solving this engineering mechanics of problem and it reads uh, Determine the, uh, the resultant force uh, and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A Right uh, This problem is coming coming from the engineering mechanics as that statics textbook 13th edition by rsc bella so let's call this point c so from c to a we have um, one uh, triangular distributed load and from a to b we have another one all right let's uh uh, indicate uh, separate uh, equivalent forces for each of uh, the two, each of uh, the distributed loads and later on we are going to sum them up so that we find just one final equivalent force. Alright, there we go. Let me put this somewhere here like this. And then let me draw. Uh, I draw this. These are this is the locations. The locations. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's say our equivalent force. Maybe it is somewhere here. We're just assuming let's say it is somewhere there mm -hmm. measured from a so uh, let's indicate the dimensions these are um, triangular distributed uh, forces and the equivalent remember the centroids equivalent for this i mean the location where it will be located from C, it will be two thirds of three, which is just equal to a two, and then here it will be one third. This is one third of three, which is equal to one. Mm -hmm. And then this, it will just be one third of um one third okay um i don't want to eat a lot of space this is one third of uh six and this is equal to um two right and this is two thirds of six this is equal to four all right then this we are saying this is equal to fr and then this one is going to be equal to the area under this triangular distributed force so half times this intensity 6 times this length which is also 6 so half by 6 is 3 3 by 6 is 18 so this is 18 uh, kilo newtons all right and then this one this one is also going to be equal to half times the intensity 6 times the length 3 this is going to be equal to um, 9 9 kilo newtons right so we have everything let's set up our equation so we know that at the moment f i mean the moment due to f r times d so there's a D somewhere, let me write down the D, the D measured from 
A, right? Okay, let me draw a straight line. Straight line. So we have a D somewhere. Uh, let me dot this. All right, there we go. Uh, so we have a D somewhere, like so, like so. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. And this is a D. Okay, so FR times D is going to be equal to uh, the summation of moments about point A. And then we have summation of forces in the Y. Going up in our reference, this is equal to FR, uh, which is equal to what we have. Say nine, so say minus nine. What else? Minus eighteen. This therefore is going to be equal to minus twenty-seven kilonewtons, which is also just equal to twenty-seven kilonewtons going down like that. All right. Then let's find the summation of moments about point A. Okay, what do we have? So this is going to be equal to uh, clockwise moment from 9, say 9 times what's the lever arm? The lever arm is 1. And then we have a clockwise moment from 18, which is negative, so it's 18 by a 2. All right. What do we get? This is a 9 minus 36, right? Uh, so 9 minus 36, we get a minus 27 kilonewton meters, which is also equal to 27 kilonewtons meter clockwise. Okay clockwise clockwise like this right so let's import this equation so that we use it like so once we do so we have a far again we need to mind the direction of our moment because the signs have to be equal and summation of moments about a is the one that is guiding us it's a minus Therefore, we expect minus this side. FR, we said, is 27 uh, times D uh, equal to uh, the moment itself, which we found also as minus 27. Therefore, our D is just equal to 1 meter. So this is equal to 1 meter and then far up is just equal to 27 kilo newtons. We can write this one down here. Let's write it. Now not indicate the supports. I'll just indicate the result and force. There we go, and this location. Uh huh. So we are saying this is FR equal to uh, 27 kilo newtons. And this location, this location from A, this point here is A. We say this is A. This point is A, this is B, mm -hmm. this location from there to there, 
we found this to be equal to uh, this one is equal to this one is equal to d equal to uh, one kilo I mean one meter sorry all right and the whole dimension for this beam from one end uh, we use black from one end to the other end and then from most of this point here so this this is equal to three meters and this is equal to six meters right i think this is about it this is about it i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast